Hey everyone, we are going to be working on tool tips and just like general overlays. I'll teach you how to do that right now. So let's jump into our prototype. We are at the tooltip stage over here, this little prototype. And what is a tooltip? So generally, like when you have like UI elements, especially with things like forms and more complex UIs where you need to give a little hint or something, you definitely want to use something like a tooltip or like some sort of overlay if you want to reveal some sort of contextual information. So let's jump in. Now, what we're going to have here and what we're going to recreate is we have this little, you know, password toggle icon and you know maybe it's not the super best example but you know just hovering over this should give them a little tooltip that says toggle password visibility and when i hover off of it it's gone so let's jump in and i'll show you how to do that okay so i'm in my design right now and i have these three screens and basically i'm just going to outline what happens here when you hover on this item it gets a little darker and it also will toggle this this version over here when you're on this screen. So let's start from our same element. So I'm just going to remove this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just make a copy of this screen and I'm just going to design it first. So first, the thing I want to happen is I want this visibility on icon over here to be a little bit darker. So we can you know jump it to 50%. And you know now I'm just going to grab the prototype uh, tab over here and I'm going to come over here on the icon and just connect it right away. So you can see that the destination is like this tooltip one right here. You know, even if I hover over it, it's gonna hover over that border and I'm navigating to it. So really quick transition and I'm gonna keep it at smart anime and ease out. That seems totally fine. So let's see what that looks like in a second. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new flow starting point and I'm gonna call this tooltip v2. So that way we know which one is ours. So we're on tooltip v2 now. If I just you know, hover, oh, so now it's, it's on click. So one thing we did forget to do was change the interaction. That should be while hovering, perfect. So let's do that again. Just press R to restart that prototype. And there we go. We have a nice little interaction. If we take a look, you know, we have a similar interaction here. The only thing is, you know, that interaction's a bit long for a hover. You know, we can tighten that up a bit. We can clean that up in a second. The next thing I do is I'm actually gonna copy this overlay. You can create your own if you want, but I'm just gonna bring it over here. You know, you can do two things in this situation. You can either have this already like overlaid like this. So, you know, if I come in, you know, I have that, but you know, I want to teach you how to use an overlay properly. Either or is totally fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back on this icon and I'm just going to jump in right here. I'm going to connect it to that overlay instead of navigating to though, because that's just going to navigate directly to this, which is like a super small screen or a super small frame. We're going to actually open overlay and then we can, you know, choose where it's going to be. So you can either like, you know, have it centered or you can go ahead or like make it top left, etc. You can do manual and that's what I'm going to opt for. So I'm going to have it manually pop up there. And, you know, since it's an on overlay, so I don't want it to be click, but when it's while hovering, we don't have to worry about clicking behind or anything like that. We're just going to have it dissolve. We're not too worried about the animation, but we're just going to have it dissolve in and we're going to keep everything the same. So let's see what that looks like. So there you go. Let's take a look. That's tooltip, the first one. And we can probably, you know, we can afford to make this a little bit longer in terms of the animation time. This is tooltip V2. This is the one that we're working on. So we have the hover of the icon that gets dark and the overlay pops up. Let's take a look at the original. Same thing. So that is how you create overlays. So you can either, you know, do it on hover, you can do it on click. 
And there's just a variety of ways we can handle like how we get out of that. So for tool tips, you'll probably do it on like hover and you could do it on click, but you know, when you click on something else, it may get removed or, or uh, if you hover away from the item like here, you know, that'll be removed as well.